Hello, welcome to At Home Crafts with City of Tampa Parks and Recreation. We're with the Visual Arts Department. I am Sarah. And I'm Jen. And we're going to show you some art projects you can do at home with kids. Let's get started. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Sarah. And I'm Jen. And now we're going to make a loom knit scarf or bracelet. So you can make your own loom out of stuff you have around your house. If you have any paper towel tubes or old gift wrap tubes that you have laying around, you can cut those down and use either popsicle sticks, pencils, or even bobby pins uh, to create your own loom. So if you've never done loom knitting, this is a great introduction, especially for young children, uh, which I recommend the larger pencils to do that project with um, because it'll be easier for them to move the string over. So you need your tube, you need your pencils or popsicle sticks, some tape, something decorative is always fun, uh, to keep it together, and then any kind of yarn that you have laying around. And Jen's gonna show us how to start the loom and I will show you how you can finish a project. So to start the loom, first you want to add your pencils or your popsicle sticks evenly placed around your tube and tape them down so that they're not moving or falling out. Then what you want to do is you're going to pull, put your, uh, your yarn string down so you have something to grab onto. And then this is where it gets a little tricky this, to start off with, but once you do this, it's an easy, easy, fun project. You're going to take your string, hold it from the bottom to get it tight, and you're going to just simply um, right to left wrap around your stick, pencil, um, and then continue that same motion all the way around. You're gonna um, do it again, right on top of where you've wrapped. Once you've gone all the way around, you're going to then take that first loop that you made and you're going to pull it and lift it right over on top of the second loop you made. And then pull your string. That's going to hold it in tight. And then you're going to continue that. You're going to keep doing that over and over again until you've finished all the second loops. And then you're going to go again and continue to wrap around. So you'll always have two loops on your pencils before you start folding over another loop. Okay, I'll show you that one more time. So after you've done your second wrap, you're gonna lift the bottom loop, pull it on top of this first loop, and then pull your string down. Bottom loop over top loop and then pull down. Eventually, you'll have enough to come together to make something like a scarf. Then you'll have to finish it. You can't just pull it off or it will all uh, come apart. So. Yeah, and depending on how many sticks or pencils you have on there or bobby pins, it'll come out with different sizes. So if you do a smaller tube, you'll get something a lot smaller. So you can make like a little bracelet can add a button to it, but to finish your piece, so once you've got it as long as you want it, maybe you're making a scarf or something that you're going to turn into something bigger, because you can even sew these together after you make a bunch of tubes, uh, you'll go to your very end, so I only have one loop on my popsicle sticks right now, alright, I'm going to hold on to my tail so it doesn't run away on me, and I'm going to take that last loop and bring it over to the right. I'm going to fold over that loop just like we were doing before, like that. All right, so now I have one less loop on my tabs here. And so now I'm going to take that same one that I just folded over, and I'm going to bring it back to the original one, so back where it was before. And now I'm going to take the one to the left of it and transfer. It might be a little tight, you just have to adjust as you go. There we go. And then again, under, over. Now I've got a blue loop there, and I'll slide it off, bring it back to its original loop where it was, 
And I'm going to continue that way until I've gone all the way around. So I've transferred it there, pick off the one to the left. Might need to adjust my yarn as I shift it over. Put it there, bring it over. Oops, it's okay if it slides off. You can slide it back on. Like that. We're going to go all the way around. And if you have um, a darning needle or a pick or something, you can use that to slide under here. You can even use a bobby pin that you've straightened out and that can help you go a little bit faster. Last one goes over, and on my very last loop, I want to tie it off. How many scissors? But I'll use my tail and just slide it through that very last loop and tug it tight. And then you can uh, slide that onto a needle and finish off the end. I'm just going to tuck it in here for now. But then if that's a bracelet, you can tie the two ends together or tie a button, sew a button on one end and then use the loops to loop it through. You can make them shorter so it's a keychain. You can use other sizes of yarn. So you can make really small ones, really fat ones. Um, you could even use embroidery thread or uh, sewing thread. And so this is a fun project. And then, you know, go beyond tubes. I've seen people use the big coffee cans and cut the bottom out of that to make a really big hat or a big scarf. Maybe you could even make a whole tube that'll fit over your entire body. And I think that would be a lot of fun.